Hey, you guys, I'm just jumping on really quick with the quick word. Um, I was intending to jump on earlier today, but, you know, life be life and okay. But as I was sitting here preparing me a little, like, you know, late night little snack or whatever like that before I get ready to turn it in, the word dropped in my spirit, don't strike back. Don't strike back, okay? And a lot of you that are standing in this kingdom marriage promise, okay, you're going through this prophetic marriage countdown, okay? You're going through this time of prayer and fasting, okay? Interceding for your God-ordained spouse, those of you who are called to stand, you're standing in this hour and in this season, okay? And there's a lot going on in the spiritual realm, of course, right? It's a spiritual warfare. The Bible says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, okay? But against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness in high places, right? So there's a spiritual warfare going on. And God is saying that oftentimes the enemy, he's going to use anyone that he can to try to discourage you, to bring you down, to throw you off course. He don't care who it is, okay? He will use whomever will allow him to use of them in this hour and in this season, even your uh, kingdom husband or your kingdom wife, whomever you're standing for. And God is saying that to don't strike back. Don't strike back if your God-ordained spouse may say something or do something that does not sit right with your spirit, that's not loving, that's not kind. And oftentimes we're in communication with our God-ordained spouses, whether by you know text messaging, whether by phone call, whatever the case may be, however the form of communication that God has opened up for us in this hour and in this season. And oftentimes words can be said And even so much as sometimes it could just be the silence, okay? You could be receiving this whole silent treatment right now, okay? This push and pull type of dynamic between you and your God or spouse. And um, those things may hurt, okay? Of course, they're going to hurt, right? Because you know that you're doing all that you can do to pray for this person, to love this person, to intercede for this person, You've been standing for this person for such a long time. And then, you know, at the same time, you're trying to pour love um, into them and they're not receiving that love and they're not pouring out in return. Okay. So it feels like you're getting striked constantly. Right. And sometimes you get to the point where you want to retaliate, like you want to say something back, you know, or, you know, maybe lash out or you know, give them a piece of your mind, whatever the case may be. We're all humans, right? And you want to just be like, hey, this, that, and the third, right? But God is saying to hold your peace, to hold your tongue. Don't lash out because that's an attack of the enemy, okay? It's not them. It's the enemy trying to use them to discourage you so you can stop praying for them so God God can stop moving. And God is saying that don't stop praying. Don't stop interceding because your prayers are working. It may not seem like they're working, but God is working behind the scenes, right? And the enemy knows that you've been fasting. He knows that we've been on our knees praying, reading God's word, standing for this marriage, right? So he wants to do anything to break us down. He wants to do anything during this 78 days. We got 78 days left on this prophetic uh, marriage countdown and um, as well as on this fast that we're doing for those of you who who do not know. Um, We're also doing a three-day fast, Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. in regards to our kingdom marriage promises for those whom God gave a kingdom marriage promise to. But um, during this whole process, obviously the enemy sees that, you know, our prayers are working, right? God is getting ready to turn your circumstances around. You're getting ready to birth this promise and this vision and this uh, word that God has spoken over your life, right? But during the process, God is still bringing them out, okay? They're not fully there yet, okay? It's done in the spiritual realm, but there's still work that needs to be done on their hearts and their minds, right? So they're still going through their deliverance process and their transformation process, okay? So God is saying in the midst of all this, continue to love them, continue to be kind, don't get angry, you know, don't lash out in anger, you know, don't um, hold any grudges in your heart and bitterness in your heart, give it to the Father, okay? Because you got to remember, it's not, the battle's not between us and them. The battle is between God and Satan, okay? And in the end, we already know who wins. God is the one that's going to win. God is the one that's going to get the honor and the glory in the fulfillment of your marriage promise, okay? So don't strike back. No matter how, how hard it gets, 
no matter how bad your circumstances may look, even if, you know, you get in a place where your God ordained spouse is not being loving to you and, you know, perhaps they're, you know, retaliating uh, towards you in a negative way. You feel like I haven't done anything to deserve this. Why are they, you know, acting this way? Why are they treating me this way? Why are they pushing me away? All I'm trying to do is love them. One minute they're cool. You know, we talk in everything's perfect. Next minute, they ignore me, pushing me away, giving me the silence treatment, whatever the case may be. God is saying, don't retaliate. We have to know when to speak and when to be quiet, when to move and when to be still, you guys. But I just wanted to share that quick word of encouragement with each of you guys. Don't strike back. Don't allow the enemy a foothold. Um, the victory is already won in Jesus' name. Continue to stand strong on the promises of God and watch what he does in this process of this 78-day um, transformation, okay? This 78-day marriage countdown, you guys. I love y'all, and I will see you guys the next time the Lord sends me back with another word. Bye.